जीवन के दाता सांसों के स्वामी ये नैया के पतवार तुमको है अर्पण जीवन के दाता सांसों के स्वामी ये नैया के पतवार तुमको है अर्पण प्राणों के प्यारे बाबा हमारी प्राणों के प्यारे बाबा हमारी तुझे तेरा सब कुछ समर्पण समर्पण जीवन के दाता सांसों के स्वामी ये नैया के पतवार तुमको है अर्पण Om Shanti. Om Shanti, Didi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Welcome, Didi, and Om Shanti, everyone. We are so happy to have our Didi with us for today's sharing. The topic for us today is become an authority of experiences. This class is prepared by the Ubud family of Indonesia. So, Didi, would you like to share your thoughts on the topic first? Okay. Jan, we are good to give lectures, and there are many, many better lecturers than. any of us so what happens is if somebody is taken gyan from us but they listen to somebody else expert on meditation they may become their student or they may leave gyan so what we need to do is share experience and we can share experience and give them experience because experience will last forever gyan may be forgotten so even if they don't come to gyan now when they listen first 
when they are in trouble they will come to us so the thing is we have to be the authority of experience and share experience with everybody because nowadays baba is emphasizing that we should give them experience and that's why in public function also many times we have 15 20 sister on the stage leading meditation and during meditation people have experience i remember once i gave public lecture in brisman and at the end of lecture i gave commentary and they had meditation and people shared their experience one person said that you disappeared and we saw christ one person said i saw many faces changing as if different slides are coming one after another so there were many european faces coming one after another so people have vision of sometimes light hello of light around us different color light etc and really they appreciate our meditation when they experience something else om shanti jan ki ban you can ask the question thank you dd i think we all agree that experience is very very important now the questions dd the first one is what does it mean to become an authority of experiences why does baba say that experiences is the greatest authority among other authorities experiences greatest authority if people simply hear our talk or see us they can be disillusioned but if somebody experiences something they will never forget it so they will believe and nothing will shake their faith also you can challenge others and in the early stage most of the sisters came to gyan because when baba led ex uh, meditation they had experience of peace love etc so they left their home and surrendered to baba so it was experience through vision next one yes the second question what are the differences between power and authority differences between power and authority one can be mentally or spiritually powerful 
those wrestlers, they are physically powerful. Especially those are winners. But when one is mentally or spiritually powerful, they can face any obstacles, challenges. So authority is usually in a position. For example, somebody is a manager, director, boss. So they have authority and whatever they tell, others have to do it. So there are 36 virtues. When power is in a practical life, it becomes virtue. So power is gained by remembrance of Pap Dada, spiritual power is gained by remembrance of Pap Dada. Next. This is very interesting, powerful point. Pow uh, from virtues, we get powers. Uh, the third question, how can knowledge be transformed into experiences? As we know that peace, love, bliss, happiness are our original nature. What I need is to imbibe those powers during meditation. So I have to focus on one of them. Okay, Didi. And I can get... Should it. we become the authority of experiences in all four subjects? If yes, please... We have to be authority in Jnana and Yoga. That will help in Dharana and Seva. For being authority in Jnana, churn Jnana, and have faith in each and every point of knowledge. For being authority of Yoga, have experience of Baba's help and you have to focus on Baba's that power and you can quote your experience to others. Next one. Didi, they're talking about all four subjects. So all these four subjects, the method is to get Baba's help and to share the experience with others. So we can tell them the experience. Yes, Didi? We have to focus on Gyan Yoga. Dharana and Seva becomes easy. Okay. Question number five. What is the distinction between experiences and feelings? Feelings can be right or wrong. And it can be assumption, whereas experience is profound and always correct. Wonderful. Yes, Didi. 
question how can last longer or become more permanent experience can be maintained naturally and it remains permanently whether somebody follows that path or not but when they will need in difficulty they will come to baba to receive that strength didi can we create experiences for others would you give an example about this yes a yoga experience we can create for others by commentary and with our commentary and with our powerful stage they can really experience that stage yes dd question number 8 before we go to question 8 please put your questions in the chat box thank you so much question number 8 how can one overcome past destructive or negative experiences what self respect and baba's titles we need to absorb for this please share some yuktis or methods that can be used for this it takes time to erase past negative experiences as soon as we have memory try to chase away that thought churn gyan be swadarshan chakradhari self respect we have to maintain is i am shiv shakti and my meditation apply full stop to past remind yourself that you are master almighty authority today also baba says first judge whether it is right or not if it is wrong give not and not say no and apply dot <laughs> yes what are the signs of those who have become authorities of experiences how will such a person appear sign of soul who is authority of experience will have confidence in explaining all gyan points and able to contribute convince others easily will be yogi and will have sparkle on the face happy and light yes didi <laughs> those who are authorities of experiences are never deceived by any form of maya but maya constantly changes her form 
and becomes more subtle. How can we recognize her and not be deceived? Which form of Maya is the most deceitful and how can we overcome that? Maya's most deceitful point is greed. Nowadays, many are deceived by spams of business, sharing that you will earn more and in interest or working your money double. So people think, let me invest in this business and make my money double. Second form is ego. Person doesn't realize if it is ego, he thinks it is intoxication. Because when there is body consciousness, it becomes ego. When you are soul conscious, it is intoxication. And thirdly, love and attachment is also having very narrow margin. And so people will say, but we have to love everybody, isn't it? But they forget that they are attached. Yes, Didi, I totally agree with that. Question 11. Baba mentioned that in the end, people no longer want to hear. They desire to experience something. What special efforts do we need to put in place to become masters of experiences for this situation that is the end period what efforts? Yeah. yes at the moment we say oh you meditate and receive power from baba so they have got time to understand meditation take seven days course but in the end they will not have time to understand jnana and they will be thirsty at the drops of love or power or peace or something. So if we have accumulated all powers now, then whenever is end, then people will come and we will be able to share those powers and they will be satisfied. Yes. So the main thing is to have a stock in us first. So the next question, Didi. In the Lokic world, it takes a long time and requires a lot of effort to become an experienced person. But how about this? How about in this spiritual journey, can we become an authority of experiences in a short time? In a logic world also, takes time to be authority of experience. We need to make efforts and accordingly we will take time. If the efforts are instant, in, in, constant, then it will take short time. Usually, yes. we are so busy in job, 
and seva and household work that we don't have that much time to sit in yoga and so it takes time to be authority yes thank you didi can a single profound spiritual experience be enough to establish oneself as an authority or is it a continuous process with many spiritual experiences a single yeah profile. yeah 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 yes <laughs> it is possible that one profound experience is enough to establish oneself as an authority but naturally we need to pay constant attention to karma yoga and morally to be powerful yes didi thank you for that are there different levels or degrees of becoming the authority of experiences how does one progress through these different levels no there are not different levels to become the authority one can just experiment to have good yoga gyan churning etc what role does humility play in the process of becoming an authority of experiences are there any potential to develop subtle ego in this here humility and subtle ego humility is necessary i don't think when we are experiencing that there is a chance of any ego usually gyani yogi soul is humble and creative aiming to make others equal to the self okay didi yes makes a lot of sense so we have finished our questions for today but there are some questions in the chat box shall we go to those questions didi now yeah yeah baba says become equal to baba in karma and dharma how to do this main thing we should know brahma baba thoroughly those who haven't read brahma baba's biography or adi dev i will say they should read it and if it is not translated in your language please make effort to translate it because then you know what baba's karma was and how he performed every activities and what deity religion is then we can follow brahma baba Yes didi i think many get so much of 
uh, intoxication by reading Adi Dev, many, many, and they continue to read that. Many have told me also that, you know, they like that, uh, those experiences of Brahma Baba. So, Didi, we go to the next question. Baba says, become trinitri in being able to see what is in front of you, what is behind you, and what is beside you. What does this mean? Please explain. Trinitri means to see what is in front, behind, and beside you. Please explain. Trinitri means having divine intellect and wisdom so that we are able to see three aspects of time and make decision accordingly. Okay. The next question. Would Didi please, uh, would dear Didi be observing the two minutes of world forgiveness meditation time on global forgiveness day, this Wednesday, August the 2nd? See, there is this world forgiveness meditation time on global Forgiveness Day, this Wednesday, 2nd of August. Would Didi be observing the two minutes of silence? Why not? It's only two minutes. Everybody <laughs> can do that. Yes, Didi, <laughs> that's right. And forgive whoever has done wrong to them in the past negative experiences, we can give them sarcas. Yes. Next question. Why is the master seed stage? Master seed stage called the stage of a master almighty authority Karmati stage and, and being equal to Baba. Can you explain this? Master seed stage called Almighty Authority stage, also Karmati stage and equal to Baba. Can Didi explain this? I didn't know. That master stage stage is karmatit stage, <laughs> or all this title that somebody has given. Master seed is like seed knows about tree. So we know about kalpa tree, and we stay in a point form remembering Baba, the point and merged in Baba's remembrance. That I will call Master Seed Stage. Yes, that's very lovely. Very lovely. The next question in the chat box. If the greatest authority of all is the authority of experience, then a soul with this authority will be definitely victorious over Maya. Please explain, Didi. I think they will be definitely victorious victorious over Maya. First of all, 
they will realize that this is Maya because Maya adopts variety, subtle forms. So we have to realize. And then it's easy to conquer it. Yeah. Yes, Didi. Didi, can you elaborate today's slogan? To transform the wasteful intentions of many souls into elevated intentions is real service. What is wasteful intentions? And how do we know souls have wasteful intentions? Wasteful thoughts will create intention, such wasteful intention. And Baba was emphasizing change waste into best. Yes. Say waste, no, and apply dot, full stop. So we have to see that we are not having any negative or waste thoughts or intention for anybody. We have good wishes only for everybody. But Didi, the question is, how do we know souls have wasteful intentions? How can we know? We are knowledgeful. We are knowledgeful. Yes, Didi. We should know <laughs> what, is, yes, Didi. what is happening, what is good, what is best, was it wasteful, what is best. We do. Otherwise, yes, we are not knowledgeful. Yes, agree. What is different between experience and illusion? And how about trance? Is it an experience or an illusion? Trance is experience. Difference between experience and illusion is you really experience and feel inside. Whereas illusion is not reality. It's a just psychological phenomena that we are thinking of something which is not there. Okay, Didi. So, so we have to really be careful and not stay in illusion. Yes. It's a form of Maya. Yes. So illusion form of Maya. In the process of becoming an embodiment of soul consciousness, I really enjoy practicing it and have beautiful experiences. But however I do, however do I make this practice constant? Again, let me read Didi. In the process of becoming an embodiment of soul consciousness stage, I really enjoy practicing it and have beautiful experiences. However, how do I make this practice constant? Practice makes you perfect. 
So if you keep on practicing, naturally it will be constant and you will be all the time soul conscious and that's what our aim is to remain soul conscious all the time. Yes. Thank you. Om Shanti Didi, is it possible to attain the karmatit stage now if we are doing eight hours yoga constantly and churning knowledge, like going beyond all sorrow emotionally or physically? Yeah, possible. You can be karmatit now, no problem, because that's what we have to do now or never. Yes, thank you. Om Shanti DDG, even though sometimes the decision taken are as it, it has happened 5,000 years ago. But still, ways thoughts come. How to become experienced in putting a full stop in a second? To put full stop, we need that controlling power. So as we meditate and increase our controlling power, we will be able to put full stop. Yes. Or we can change the thoughts. Baba said today, change the thoughts. So how to convert others' wasteful intentions into the best? Change others' wasteful intentions into the best. It depends our relationship with them, their faith in us. If they have faith in us, we can explain sweetly that don't allow waste thought, keep yourself busy churning yarn and be Swadarsan Chakradhari so that there are no room for waste thoughts. Next question, Didi. Om Shanti, Didi. I am an emphatic person who can feel others' negative emotions even when they are far away. When is sense, the energy I feel, some sensation in my right foot, making me feel uncomfortable and draining my energy. How do I protect myself from it? Now this person, he feels others' negative emotions, even, even when if they're, they're far away. Far yes. away. yes. And then this drains his energy. How to protect himself? Main thing is you have to be in Baba's remembrance. Yoga is like a shield to protect us from negative influences. So you have to be strong enough through yoga power. Yeah. DDG, when we start to give love to everyone, sometimes we may fall into attachment. How to protect myself and also others? We want to give love, but we become attached. What we have to do is 
whilst we are giving love drishti explaining anything then we have to keep baba in between us and that person because if i have awareness that baba is giving love then there will not be attachment and if you are not attached the opposite person can't be attached attachment is two way so i have to be beyond i and my love wonderful wonderful didi what is the accurate meaning of a yogi can didi please explain who is a yogi yogi is the one who is doing yoga <laughs> remembering baba tapashvi is who is doing long time yoga but yogi is just who knows yoga and remembers baba now and again didi how close are you didi to your karmatit stage <laughs> 90% Yes Didi That's very good Congratulations and we are so happy for you Didi you are our Didi and we are proud of you Didi I think that's about all for today's session So shall we close with a song and your drishti Didi Yeah We have we have fifteen minutes to go, but we can close early. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you, everyone, for your chat questions, and thank you so much, everyone.
ओम शांति Thank you. 